who can see your Google locations. You can um, delete or control information about your past locations because there's a track of everything that you do online. Everywhere you go, there's a record, it's like a footprint of where you've been. And if you've been using Google, and even if you haven't been using Google Maps, there can be tracks of your location. So you're going to be able to see where it is, your location history, and then you're going to see, okay, do I want to do it, delete it all? Do I want to delete um, just a piece of it or just set it up to delete it all going forward? Now is an important time as any to just stress as always, you know, that the following demonstration are for, for you listening, everybody. Um, but please only make changes to your accounts, apps and devices that you feel are safe for you to do so, avoiding any potential harm to you or others in your home. That's that's important and we always say that in every webinar. Okay, so who can see your Google locations? And um, just by clicking on the top here and manage your Google account, you can get straight into your data and privacy, things you've done and places you've been. And you can also see here that it's split up into web and app activity. And that's basically your activity across all Google apps. If you look at location history, it is what it is, and YouTube history. And so there's a few different ways to get in. You can see those three are the bottom ones here. I'm going to click on my Google activity. And we're in here now in web activity, and we want to turn it off. And basically what this is going to do is it will disable your activity online on your Google accounts. So any Google apps, sites and devices, it will stop recording your activity across those. That's really important for you to be aware of. So you can pause it and reactivate it at any time. OK, now you might see there um, you can choose an auto delete option. And uh, we're just going to go in there. So going forward, you can decide, okay, I just want to delete things after three months or 18 months or 36 months, you know? And down here, you can see, I think I really like this, Claire, because it, it just gives you, if you're not too sure, what's web and app activity again? Or it gives you explainers. You can see there as well, manage all web and app activity. And this basically means you can go in and say, OK, I just want to delete this and this and this. So you might want to delete everything. Maybe that might cause too much suspicion, alarm bells. Mm -hmm. It's a few things you just want to delete out. Or you may just want to have a look. So it's good to know. Manage all web activity is there too. OK, so now we're going to go back and I've left web and app activity on, but you can turn that off. Location history is the next one, which is what this webinar is all about. And if you click turn off. Now, again, like I've said, this doesn't delete past location history, but it can pause the recording of future location. And you can see there in the red, you can delete um, past as well. There's a few different ways and you can see manage history there as well. You can get into it in a few different ways. Um, and that's setting up again. It's the same system again, the same as the web activity. So you can see here, I've turned off location history and YouTube history is another one. Now, not so much on location, but it's good to just be aware. You can turn off YouTube history or, uh, so this will pause it. It doesn't delete the history, uh, your, your past history searches, but here you can set it up to delete regularly or underneath, uh, you can also look and just cherry pick what you'd like to delete. So um, that is the YouTube history and um, manage my activity verification is really, really important as well, because basically you're putting a double lock on this. It's two factor authentication. Google is going to make sure that it's really you logging in in this particular area to check your history. So it's just for this area. So if you want to check, check your Google history, your Google activities, you're putting an extra verification there. And if you put that in, it will send you a special code to make sure it's really you going in here. Maybe you want to delete a location yesterday for an hour. This is how you can make sure that only you are getting in here. But again, like myself and Claire have said, only if it's safe to do so. That's actually quite useful though, Avril, as well, because that means if somebody is going into your Google account to try and check your uh, history, you will get notified 
to your phone or your email that somebody's trying to access it. Absolutely. Okay, so that's managed my activity. We've done that. So if we just take web and app activity, your location history, your YouTube history. So with one Google account password, you have access to all this information. So if someone else has access to your information, you may not want to stop them from having that access, but know that you can go in here and just quickly delete something if you need to. Okay. Um, now, the next thing we have here is you can search. If there was just something in particular, it could be a website, it could be a YouTube video, it could be whatever it is, um, but you can search and you can filter as well, which I really like. You can just delete for the last hour or delete the last day or custom range it, you know? It's up to you, but it gives you great control over what someone else sees, particularly if they have access to your account. And you don't want to raise suspicion by kicking them out of it. And you choose here all the things that you want to delete. Could be just Google Maps, it might be something. You can preview loads more if you want as well. Does that mean it's synced across all the devices then, across all those apps? Excellent question. So we talked about this as well in the previous webinar, Claire. You have to have all your accounts synced. So whatever devices that you have, where you use your Google account, then you need to make sure that all your devices are synced. So when you make this change here, say for example, on a laptop, on a desktop, that it will update onto your, your device here, whether that be a, a tablet or a phone, um, and so on, but they have to be synced. And we have a tutorial uh, in this webinar underneath showing you exactly how to sync on Android, Google, and also on iOS.